Did you see this? I think with Musiala, he justifies the hype. I think Declan Rice um, is very overrated. Who's speaking? Don't get me wrong. I oh, this is James, James McLean, former, former teammate of Declan Rice in the Irish national team. And he is another one of those guys in the media who's currently still an active player. He plays for Wrexham. Right now. No, no wonder he 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 looks like um Frankenstein. You know, like the Frankenstein uh, monster, like the have the screw to, on the side of the head. Shame his looks and no, no, I'm not shaming. I'm not shaming his looks. I'm saying he does. Like literally, that's like he just put the screws. Like literally, I'm not. I'm not dissing him. Like this is how Frank. Like this is the haircuts, everything. Put the screws. Boom. Halloween costume. I'm not. Yeah, that's so, not. That's not so shaming. So he. So he is about to go in on Declan Rice. And I think this is one of those media attacks once again for a player for no apparent reason. We're going to start it from the beginning and what he says about Declan Rice and what this man here next to him says about Declan Rice and Roy Keane and their their whole logic is illogical. What we're going to do is we're going to debunk them. We're going to we're going to speak about it and we're really really going to deep dive in what the hell is this? Is this just a salty player? And who is he to even speak about him? 35 years old, you know. He's still playing. And he's talking like this. Crazy. Let's continue. I think with Musiala, he justifies the hype. I so he says Musiala justifies the hype, by the way. I think mm -hmm. Declan Rice um, is very overrated. So Musiala justifies the hype, but Declan Rice is overrated. And when you hear his explanation, it contradicts the fact that Musiala but justifies the hype. Because what he's about to say contradicts that itself. But continue. Hey, don't get me wrong. I think he's a very good footballer. But the way the English media wax lyrical about him, I think it's it's completely over the top. It's like, for me, he's not world class. World class to me is someone who gets in every single side in the world. And I don't think he does that. Does Musiala get into every side in the world, uh, my boy? <laughs> Does Musiala like, get into every side in the world? This has got to be, this has got to be, this guy has got to be like, I, I, I don't should understand. Should we continue what, or should we? No, no, I just want to, let me address that. Like, I don't understand where he's coming from with that statement as regards to saying like, I think Musiala will get into some teams in the side of the world. And I think Declan Rice too as well will get into some teams in the side of the world. There are certain teams that you might not be able to break into just because you are not the number one in that position that you're playing in, right? Okay. And that's and that's fair enough. In that team, you might not be able to get into that team. But every other team outside that, is Musiala the best player in his position in the world? No. He's not. He's not. He's not. He might be top five or top ten talent wise. You could say, okay, right. He's in Does that Musiala team. start at Real Madrid? I don't. I don't see. I don't see him starting at Real Madrid. I don't see it. You, you see him starting at Man City? I don't see the current Man City team. No. I don't seem to stand on Man City. So what I'm saying is that like, exactly no. So Declan Rice, because of the role that he plays, for example, I don't see Declan Rice oh, starting bro, on Man City because of Rodgers. You have to listen to his explanation. But I see Declan says, Rice. I see Declan Rice starting in Bayern. Bayern will take. Me too. Will take Rice. I see Declan Rice, Rice starting in a lot of teams. In and a lot I of good, see, in a lot of good I teams. I see Declan Rice even starting at Man City. You play him in the eight. But hey, that's that's just me. But listen to what he says. It's even crazier. I don't think he gets in the Man City side ahead of Rodri. I don't think he gets in, I know Cruz is now retired, but to me, Tony Cruz is world class. He dictates the game. Rodri dictates the game. I don't think Declan Rice does that. Because Declan Rice doesn't dictate the game the same way as Rodri and Tony Cruz. He's saying that's why he doesn't rate him and he thinks he's overrated. Listen to the next sentence. It makes it even worse. He's not someone who's going to get on the half turn, play passes forward. He's very good at what he does. He you see, you're not a different type of player, James. Well... It, is they play in the same role, so what? The fuck? Okay, so this is so this is the thing I need to. I, this is the part that kills me, right? When when people try to compare players because they are in the same role, their approach to playing does not have to be the same. That is the that is like you're t it's like boxing, right? Because we're in the same weight category, right? Does that mean that you and I have to fight the same way? I could have a different style of fighting. Some f fighters are defensive. You know, and some fighters are offensive. So for this guy to sit here who actually plays ball, he this guy kicks ball. This dude speaking, he's still football. active. Yeah, and I'm saying, and he's sitting there and saying 
because Declan doesn't play like Rodri or Tony Cruz. So he's not world Bro, class. Because he, he, Declan he plays in his own style. He's not done. He continues to waffle. Hear this out. Yo. You know, if they play the same role, so why can't they do the same thing? So Oh my god. Role, so why can't they do the oh, same my thing? god. <laughs> oh my they, god. Oh my god. They don't have they don't have the same manager. Like? They don't have you know the same manager. Like? That this is no, this is a professional footballer. This is a professional footballer. He still plays for Wrexham. He sadly, plays this on guy, the wing. sadly, this guy, the professional, he's a professional waffler. He's not a he's a, bro. He's, he this man coach. is a professional footballer somehow. And he's talking about two players, they play the same position, so they should be able to do the same thing. It are you gonna tell me that? Tony Cruz is not a good player because he can't score goals and assists like Gundogan. Or Gundogan is not a good player because he can't. No, no, no. Tony, see, Tony, like... Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz is not even a good DM because he doesn't play like Rodri. After all, Rodri plays for the best team right now in the world, as 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 everybody says. And Tony Cruz also plays for the best team as well. But well, we'll say Real Madrid. No, but you know what it is. League. They don't play he's, like they don't on, have the same style. So based on his logic, he's, based on he's his logic. Wrong. Based on his logic, because these two can't do the same role, they're, they're ter- one of them is bad. One of them I, is I, bad. Like, like I mean, at the end of the day, here's here's what I say to people like that. People who are, I don't blame him. I blame the, the network that gave him the platform to come sit down and, and speak. If you don't interview the people that you're bringing on your shows that you, that you want to come and speak, and you just assume that because they play football, they have sense. Assumption is when you make an ass out of you and me. You, you, you know basically, something? That's done, all they've bro. done. He's not done. He's not done. To me, it's because he's Irish and he was a former teammate of Declan Rice's when he was in the Irish national team. And I bet you any money he was heaping his praises. But now that he's picked England, a lot of Irish people are probably going to hate on Declan Rice because he switched allegiances from Ireland to England. If you didn't know, he actually played for the Irish national team, but he didn't have enough caps to have him locked with the Irish national team. National team yeah. so he then made the decision to move over to the England team. And credit to him, it's gotten him a major move. And he's played in the World Cup numerous times. He played in the Euros numerous times. And that, it's a good career decision for him. But it just seems like James McLean... If you're going to give him this much of a hype and, and you know, reputation, then surely he should be able to do what, what they do, is to get the ball in the half turn, play passes forward and dic- dictate the, uh, the play. I don't think he does that. He's good at what he does. He, he sees danger and he puts out fires, but you know, for, for the hype that, that surrounds him, then I, I, don't think, I don't think it's justified. Before- so the hype isn't justified because he doesn't live up to... Because he okay. doesn't... No, no, he's specific. He's very specific about what he wants Declan to do. And if Declan does that, then he will rate Declan as world class, which is receive the ball on the half, uh, on the on the in the middle of the pack, you know, make a half turn and, and play the pass forward. Okay, okay, you you've been specific. Like that is the one thing that he says Declan doesn't do that doesn't make him world class. D- literally, he he didn't. No, say- but then he started off by saying his criteria of world class is players who get into every team in the world, and he said Musiala is world class, but Declan Rice is it. I, no, he, but that's what I keep telling people. Like, world class for me is, I, I keep saying it like... Subjective. It, it's subjective because at the end of the day, you can get into a lot of teams. If we're talking in the position that you play, can if they count the 10 best players in the world, are you in that number? Are you in that list? Then I then I categorize you guys as world class. Like, that's how I decide. I just say, look, Wait, if you, you in the something? role that you play, let's say like a goalkeeper role, who are the 10 best goalkeepers in the world? It doesn't matter what league they're in. It doesn't matter. Like, I look at the 10 yeah, you know something? And, and then, you know, that's how I categorize the yeah, class. Someone here says Declan Rice is uh, overrated as F. Declan Rice might be overrated. Don't get me wrong. But his argument went from overrated to he's not world class. He's not this. He's not that. And then his argument is flawed. And it just comes down to his whole conversation around Declan Rice being overrated is because he can't do certain things that other players can because do. he can't he can't receive the ball in, in the middle of the pitch. Yeah, so on the half turn you can and, and you can say forward. Declan Rice is like you can say Declan Rice is overrated. Sorry, bro. You can say Declan Rice is overrated because when we compare him to other players, nobody's sitting here comparing to Sergio Busquets. Nobody here is actually sitting here and saying he's a hundred times better than Rodri. We're just saying if Rodri is number one in the league, Declan Rice is close second. At least that's what I'm saying. People who are sitting here and saying, oh, Declan Rice is the best defensive midfielder in the world. I think that's sometimes it's satire or it's flippant. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just what people say. I think I think I think as a I think as a I think as a DM, Declan makes the top 
you know, top 10 DMs. Top three? And, and that's and that no top like I'm saying top, let's say top 10 in Europe. Because if you say in, in, in the premiership, top three, he's he's top three in the premiership. But if you say in Europe, because there's also a bunch of other good DMs everywhere, he'll make top 10. And and for me, that makes you world class because he has zero technically. Come on, bro. You know, so for me, that's that's the bottom line. Like when when people say certain things, they just say it out of banter, and and I've I've come to realize that that's what the internet is about now. It's all and, about and listen to this just, final just look, at, look at people through through banter and just speak through banter. That's what people do now. Nobody Sorry, wants bro. to be objective. We're just short on time because I know you have to go yeah, in like yeah. minutes. But listen, we're to going this. to hungry just because he's brought up. What was the phrase you used? Um, what did you liken him to earlier? Uh yeah, it was a poor man's Roy Keane, I suppose. He's a similar style of play without, without maybe his intensity and aggression. Oh. So this guy just comes on as a tag along, trying to come on at the end with his with his clickbait moment also, and he's like, he's a poor man's Roy Keane without the physicality and the intensity. No, but you see, Igal, Igal, but you know the funny thing. You see, here's here's what's funny about his analogy. He's comparing Declan to Roy Keane. He didn't pick a player that nobody knows that is useless because he knows. You see, when people know that you're good and they just want to banter you, they 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 suddenly start comparing you with who they think is the best in that in the, in that role. That's why when people always say things like, "Oh." Like any rival fan that tells me my uh, this person is better than Saka, I'm like, you guys don't rate Saka, so why are you comparing your best player with Saka? <laughs> like, if you don't rate him and you say he's useless, you have to pick a struggle, right? As if you're going to speak about a, a player, you have to pick a struggle. Yeah, did you if see you recently? Let me if, you don't, if, if you, don't, you don't rate him, you don't put him in the in the same conversation and say like uh, Roy Keane. No, you say, listen, man, do you know one player called Thomas um, Flinkling that played in 1916? The guy was a DM, and the guy was the guy who allowed twenty something goals in in three matches. That's who I liken Declan Rice to. Then I know that you don't rate Declan Rice when you start speaking about the the, the greats, the good ones, and you're saying, "Well, I think Declan is not as good as Roy King. bro." Nobody said he was. That's just the thing. But, but then, but then, out of nowhere, you want to make him make a story out of it. It it it's funny. It's funny. You gotta laugh at this point. You have to laugh because if you don't laugh, you're just gonna look at them and you're gonna be like. I just, I think? just, I just, I just ignore it. Like that's why when people tell me things like statements like "Oh, Palmer is better than Saka," or or or, or I'm just or like, Saka oh, should play left back for England. Oh, no, no. Or, or when they say so, I just laugh and I say, "Well, I'm glad you're comparing the player that you rate with Saka because I thought you didn't rate Saka. I thought you Saka is a shit player. Like if he's such a crap player, the fact that you're you're comparing someone that you rate and you're saying he's better than him." It means it's either Saka is so bad that your player is just the best of the worst, the person you're comparing him with, or Saka is so good that your player has now etched Saka by, you know, a notch, which means they're in a stratosphere of their own. So I don't there argue anyway. Yeah, I don't argue. We're going to end it. We're going to end that section there. And, and these guys can look silly as much as they want. But let's, uh, but before you go, guys, do me a favor. Please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get on to the next topic.